Hi, uh, today I will cover uh, lazy load design pattern. This lazy load design pattern belongs to object relational behavioral patterns and uh, this object relational behavioral patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, you will see the explanation of uh, lazy load uh, design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation. An object that doesn't contain all of the data you need but knows how to get it. Uh, we will see one example so that you will understand. <coughs> So to explain uh, this lazy road design pattern, I have taken uh, two tables. Uh, one is person table, another one is address table. Uh, and uh, this person table has uh, four column, person ID, name, age, and gender. And it has only one row. That row represent uh, John person information. And address is uh, four columns, address ID, person ID, street, and uh, city. And uh, person ID is primary key uh, in this person table. Uh, it acts as a foreign key in address table. So you can see uh, one that is uh, there in two times in address table. One one. Okay. Uh, so this person has uh, two address. So that uh, two times one is here. And uh, there are two address are there. Uh, one is uh, Chennai and one is Bangalore. So this person belongs to this uh, two places. Okay and so suppose if we define a class for this person table the uh, class will look like this id name age gender id we can define int or long name can be string and age can be int or long and gender can be string and set of uh, addresses so one person have uh, many address so in the person uh, class we have a set of addresses okay and okay now we can see a uh, person dao and database in database this person table and address table are there uh, so we have a uh, person dao okay and uh, request comes to the person dao get person okay so it is calling uh, some get person method in person dao so what we have to do is as per the lazy load uh, design pattern we have to load only person related attributes meaning we have to load uh, this id john uh, 25 mail this value this value this value this value we should not load the dependent uh, objects so in this case uh, person uh, have uh, multiple addresses so we should not uh, load this addresses because the get person is only requesting the person information not address inf information uh, so as per the lazy load design pattern we have to lo just load the person related attributes we should not load the dependent attributes uh, so uh, so this will be null okay this set of address will be null uh, suppose uh, get person address so the uh, the request is coming for the address inform address information then uh, load the person address along with the person okay so that is what it is doing uh, so now if you read this one you will understand an object that doesn't contain all of the data you need but knows how to get it so the uh, person object doesn't uh, doesn't contain all of the data but knows how to get it so when the request comes for address uh, it will get it from the database and uh, next line is uh, to defer the loading of actual data till it is actually asked um, so we should not load the actually uh, actual data till it is asked that's what second uh, <coughs> point is telling on demand when the request comes for the person address only we are uh, loading the address information uh, if uh, request is coming for the ad a person then we are loading only person that's what the second sentence and uh, third point is loading one object can have effect of loading huge number of related objects uh, something that hurts performance when only few of the objects are actually needed suppose say this uh, person is related to uh, some uh, 50 tables so person uh, person primary key is uh, referred as foreign key in some 50 tables suppose person uh, suppose one request is coming for the getting the person information that time if you load 50 tables uh, object in the memory uh, then it will be the uh, performance uh, issue uh, only few of the things we need uh, for our logic 
now we we no need all 50 tables information so that time we can go for this lazy load pattern only we load when the actual data is required till then don't load all the information okay and uh, this is about uh, lazy load uh, design pattern and i have created separate video for how to implement uh, lazy load uh, design pattern uh, please log into my channel and uh, watch the watch that video the video name is lazy load implementation and uh, thanks for watching bye